shout out to all Ghanaians who are following my channel and following subsequent videos that I have been making and also much shout out to my fellow Nigerians hi there I appreciate your participation on this platform and for the contributions comments and the likes today I am here to address biodigester issues one of the issues that most installers encounter is the issue of the nature of la of the land that the installer is working with having worked for many years now your expertise depends on the number of experiences that you have gained out of the challenges you have met in the industry one of the challenges is that you will go to a particular location and ask after being given a contract you ask the homeowner the nature of the land and the homeowner will give you a description which might not be the exact quality of the land with this video that i'm doing is about a particular land that we did a biodigester there and the description as the homeowner gave us was that though there is a stream around that area which is not very close but far away for about um 200 feet away from the digester we went there to check the nature of the land and the nature of the land shows some potency of being able to absorb water uh, we tried doing the digester and kept a distance of about 15 feet of trench from the digester to the circle hoping that if the land is clay it will be able to absorb or uh, absorb the quantity of water or filtrate that will be in the digester about a year now the homeowner called us that the digester has not been working as it's supposed to so we went there to check and realized that currently it is in the rain season but at first when we went there to construct the digester it was a dry season so the nature of the land didn't show as waterlogged we tried doing digester as in the normal way not in the waterlogged area form and after the homeowner calling us we went there to check out and did a correction you can check out if you are an installer so that you will know what to do when you face these kind of problems when the description of the quality of the land is not well given or after or due to some challenges like climate change when you went there there was, it was a dry season so the land didn't show some form of uh, waterlogged then you can go ahead and do your correction
this is the nature of the land that we are working with you see it is not raining now currently but water is coming out from the land it is not just on the surface it is coming right from the deeper side of the land you see here is where it is starting it is stagnant here but you check from this side you see that you check from this side you see that so doing a normal digester with a soak away will cause you problems so look at it from the far view you see there is no water at the top side it means that water is not coming from it's not coming from any place rather from the deeper side of the land luckily for us we found a gutter which is close to where we did the digester so therefore we had to take a line or extend that l-shaped pipe to the gutter so that's why it's sometimes it is necessary to put the l-shaped pipe there when you are not sure of these things so that you'll be able to check whether there is fault in the soccer wing. Please kindly take note that the black color you see there is the charcoal powder exuded from the soccer pit. Sometimes with the ones that we do soccer away inside, with this one we didn't do soccer away inside the digester itself, but we, we extended to a sock hole. With the ones that we do soccer away inside, you can tap from the l shape pipe that is the t-junction without going further to the t but you can tap on top of the t and extend that line to the gutter so that water will not remain in not a little water will remain in the digester because the internal soak away in the digester is somehow deeper than where the filtration goes on therefore this will not keep water in the digester now with this one since we did not do uh, soak away inside it was very necessary for us to tap the line itself but not the the vertical one we tap from the horizontal one but not the vertical one so that water will not remain, not a single water will remain in the digester. And due to the nature of the filtration that goes on, it is clean and scent free. So it does not cause pollution to the land, neither pollution to the water bodies around. After doing the work, we came to check the speed of the filtration. You realize that it is coming as slow as this if the the water or the flushed water runs thoroughly with a, a, a strong speed it means that the pro slab or the filtration might not be as clean as it's supposed to be but since it is coming like this way it means that the digester is working genuinely and at the correct manner my love for you guys is so great and i do not want to keep any vital information hidden from you so what i want you to do for me is that just make sure you have subscribed on my channel click on the subscribe button like and you may also comment when anything comes on your mind i have also done videos as to how you can do previous concrete 
just look into my videos and you will find it out there bye bye